Okay, in this video, I'll be covering a case that the discriminant from the characteristic equation is equal to zero. So let's begin. So let's say we have the differential equation a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals zero. Then we could convert this to the characteristic equation a r squared plus b r plus c equals zero. So then using the quadratic equation, we get negative negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So then we are solving for, or we're trying to find the solutions of when b squared minus 4ac equals zero. So here we're gonna, um, here if b squared minus 4ac equals zero, then that means that we're gonna get, we're gonna get the same root twice, which means that we're gonna have a solution of order two. So what that means is we're gonna have to come up with a second solution on top of the first one. So we're still gonna have e to the r1 t c1, but since r is also the root, r is the second root as well as the first one, because r1 is the same as r2, we're gonna have to come up with a different solution for this. For this. So what that involves is tacking on an extra t <clears throat> to solve. So basically this is gonna be our form of solution when we get something known as repeated roots. So let's cover an example now. Say we have y double prime plus four y prime plus four y equals zero. Then our characteristic equations r squared plus four r plus four equals zero. So then r is going to be repeated negative 2. So then our solution is going to be y equals c1, arbitrary constant, e to the negative 2t plus c2. Here's the part where we used the equation from earlier, t e to the negative 2t. That's our solution. And then um, initial value problems, I don't think I need to cover them because they're pretty obvious and easy to solve for. So. Uh, maybe maybe in a, maybe I'll cover initial value problems sometime else. Uh, all right, let's cover another example. Oh wait, first of all, let me verify that plugging this plugging the solution in actually works. So we got y equals e to the negative two c one plus c two t e to the negative two t. Let's verify that this works by plugging it in. So y double y prime is equal to negative two c one e to the negative two t plus c2 e to the negative 2t minus 2c2 e to the negative 2t. And then y double prime is equal to negative, or sorry, positive 4 c1 e to the negative 2t minus 2c2 e to the negative 2t. Okay, this is annoying. Then when we differentiate this t, uh, it's another minus 2c2 e to the negative 2t. Then here plus four c two t e to the negative two t. Okay, so we so let me just simplify this. This becomes minus four c two t e to the negative two t. Just truncate this. Okay, now if we plug this in, what do we get? Well, plug in y pri y double prime first. So four c one e to the negative two t minus 4c2 t e to the negative 2t plus 4c2 t e to the negative 2t. Wait, something's not right. Sorry. This would go here. Sorry, that wasn't right. Yeah, okay. So let me just get rid of that. Sorry, I made a mistake in my algebra, so I'm careless. Okay, so we have this plus four y prime. So this is y double prime. And we add four y prime. That would be four times this. So we have four times negative two c one e to the negative two t plus c two e to the negative two t minus 2c2t e to the negative 2t. 
and then we add 4y. So what is 4y? 4y is c1e to the negative 2t plus c2t to the negative 2t. So if we add this up, we get this, um, this term cancels out with this one because 4c2e to the negative 2t cancels with this. Then this becomes a negative 8. This is a negative 8. This is 4. This is 4. These cancel out. Then this, is, this also becomes a negative 8 because 4 times negative 2 is 8. This becomes a 4 times 1, so this is 4. This is still a 4. These cancel out as well. They all add up to 0 ultimately. So this proves that this is a correct solution to this differential equation. So now, okay, now let's cover one more problem and then I'll end this video. So say we have y double prime minus, I don't know, 6y prime plus 9y. So r squared minus 6r plus 9 equals 0. Characteristic, r minus 3 squared, 0. r equals 3, 2 times. And then our general solution is y equals c1 e to the negative, or, sorry, c1 is 3, um, c1 e to the 3t plus c2 t e to the 3t. That's our general solution.